Hey, it's Mike. Today I am test riding the Cannondale Topstone Neo. I believe it's a Neo 5. Anyways, it's $5,000. And let me tell you, it is smooth. This is really, really smooth. I'm actually really impressed by what they've done. This is easily the smoothest bike ride that I've had. This is, of course, a gravel style bike. And even though it's got slicks on here, obviously you can switch it out and there's plenty of clearance for bigger wheels. And just this test ride, I'm just doing it out here around the parking lot and just kind of close by. So the components tree set is a little bit on the lower end for a gravel bike, but that's kind of what you expect for a bike about this price range, which is around $5,000. And I just gotta say, I'm very, very impressed by how smooth the power delivery is. The torque sensor system that is of the Bosch is super smooth. The controls are super simple. You don't really have much of anything else to set on here. And everything just kind of works. It just, I, I see why people spend a lot more on a Bosch mid-drive system. And it makes sense. The quality of the ride and the whole entire cohesiveness of a system. I guess this is kind of what you expect of a $5,000 bike, right? It's just amazing. One thing I wish is that this actually had the Synapse system on here. And I don't think that that is an option available. I guess I have to check the local websites on to see, uh, not the local website, but the actual Cannondale website to figure out, uh, you know, what options you get. I know it's an add-on, but it's really expensive. If it's not already included, I'm probably not going to get it. So you got the whole GRX system on here. And it, what surprised me is that when shifting, even with the power, it actually does a pretty decent job. It cuts the power just a bit. So it's the whole sensors all integrated on there. And that's something I haven't experienced before because I ride a lot cheaper bikes. Nothing nearly close to this expensive is something that uh, I've ever ridden as far as this classification of an e-bike. Now this of course does not compare to the e-bikes that you know are easily normally class three and above without the torque sensor. And those obviously they don't do a good job as far as integrating the uh, the hub and the cadence sensor and your speed, as well as this does. So this is very smooth, super duper smooth. And, you know, I, I just really like it. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this bike. Now there's a lot of places to put on, like, so let's say fenders. There's a lot of mounting points on here. There is only one bottle cage, no, two bottle cage mounts down up here plus one up here, which you can then use to attach, you know, other things in bags, the charging ports here. Looks like this battery is gonna be removable. So I imagine it's gonna be really expensive to replace it all. But um, as far as a gravel bike, I think this is really great for touring because it has all this stuff all ready to go. I think the only things that I would change are obviously for gravel riding is it's going to be thicker tires. The ones that are included here are actually road tires. So this is kind of like a, I want to call it kind of like a hybrid, but it definitely rides like a road bike. Even without the power on, I feel like I can pedal it around, no problem. And the weight is not too bad. It's definitely heavier than I thought it was going to be because of, of all, all the power that is going through in this, uh, the Bosch Active cx system i think it's one of the higher end motors that are available at least for a bike of this classification so everything was tuned up before i went for a test ride and they really did a good job i'm over here at the rei at uh, fremont and just can't say enough good things about this the only negative is of course the price i mean out the door it's going to be around six grand that's a lot of money for a uh, for a bike. So this is definitely for someone who's going to be really serious about riding like all the time and putting in thousands of miles into it and hopefully all that works out. But I do like that, uh, you know, this is really simple to use. I don't know. I, I believe that there's going to be some sort of app interface or something that's available for you to do some things and some, some pro programming, et cetera, et cetera on it. And 
Uh, I do like that. This is a size medium, which fits me just fine. I'm five foot seven. But, you know, when I tested the top stone carbon, I actually had to get an extra small in order to fit the uh, saddle height. This is really as literally as low as the saddle seat would do, would go. So a uh, medium seems to be okay. Uh, maybe ideally I should get a small, but it actually feels really great. So we got these different settings on here. The torque sensing is so smooth. So you got off, you got eco, you got tour mode, you got sport mode, and then finally you got turbo. Turbo really makes it feel like I'm like an Olympian, Olympian, Olympic rider. And the motor is so quiet. I can't even hear it. Barely hear it. It just takes off. I love that. It's very smooth. It tracks so well. I actually recorded that early first impressions several months ago, and it's only been today that I've been able to get around to recording it, editing the final bits of it, and getting it out there. And I have something important to share with you, and that is that it is currently on sale for 20% off. I believe this is noted as a discontinued item, and that's why it is on sale there were other higher end top stone neos that were available at a cheaper price which is great if you were able to get in on one of those unfortunately for most of us who are actually looking at this right now you will see that they are out of stock just about everywhere and you would be able to see the original prices for these over here at the actual cannondale site as you can see, these represent a much better deal because they were closeouts. This was the award-winning lefty version. And uh, this one is still available. So they really only have these two in stock. Topstone Neo Superlight 2 and the Neo 5. What would have been the best is if you were able to jump in and get on one of these. But as you can see, these are all out of stock. At least anywhere that I've been able to look for that I could check out at a local bike shop. They were all out of stock, but this is this would have been the ideal one. Now you can take the Top Stone Neo Five and switch out the fork. You can get that separately, so you get front suspension, but you can't do anything about the kingpin suspension back here, which does add a little bit more cushiness in the back. I believe it's about up to thirty millimeters of travel with this little suspension hinge over there, and I only know that because I had tested out the Top Stone. Uh, carbon 3L, which I did a little video on. I think it's on my separate channel. So we're we're pretty much left with this one and a super light two left. I'm not sure if Cannondale is going to have another version of this coming out real soon. I know lately they've been taking a little bit of a hit. They're having a hard time finding parts for some of their bikes. At least this is what I heard from the local bike shop. So you know, with, with maybe financial issues that some other places are having, potentially that could be an issue. So I'm looking to get one of these. And uh, when I do get one for more extended testing, I will post an update and let you know. But for now, I think this is the best deal you're going to be able to get on something that is in stock and is covered by REI and with all their bikes you get a whole one year satisfaction guarantee. So you really can't lose too much as long as you are a member. I think it's like 60 or 90 days if you're not a member. So I have a link up for this. I believe that if you are looking for something that is like a road bike style, this is probably the best choice. Keep in mind, these are really expensive for whatever reason. Cannondale also has a bunch of other bikes on sale right now. I think most of them are at 20% off. So please, if you are interested in getting one of these that are, are in fact 20% off, and I'll just point these out real quick, please use my link. I'd appreciate it. That is an affiliate link to REI, of which I am an affiliate of. Okay, that's it for this video. Please give this a like and uh, subscribe for more. Let me know what you end up getting. Oh, you also wanna stay tuned 
uh, in a video that's going to be dropping, I guess, either in two days or something. I have some very cool news to share with a very popular bike that I shared before, which is going to be 40% off. And that's probably the best e-bike you can get for the money right now. Okay. Thanks for watching.